Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Punchestown Racecourse here on Wednesday. It is October the 17th, 2018. I'm going to look at the stakes races on today's program from Punchestown, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections for race courses around the world. I'm going to look at the stakes races on today's program from Punchestown Races 4 and 5, the 340 and the 410. So let's get on to it. The 340th fourth race from Punchestown. It is the Grade Three Buckhouse Novice Chase. Grade Three race going for a purse of thirty-nine thousand dollars. That's in the American dollar currency, not the euros. Just keep that in mind. This race is a steeplechase for four-year-olds and upwards. Field of six horses going the distance of ground of thirty-eight hundred meters or two miles and three eighths on uh, the chase course. My top selection here, I like the number two horse, Cadmium. I'm going to go 261 in the Tricast of so the Trifecta. 261 Tricast Trifecta. Top selection of two horse, Cadmium. The six-year-old going by early March. Ruby Walsh is on this one for uh, for Willie Mullins. The horse's most recent out and came the first of October at Rose Common. Two miles and one sixteenth in the grade three Ballymore Irish EBF Novice Chase. It was the horse's um, first off a little bit of a break of about... Uh, eight weeks. The horse finished second by three and three quarter lengths there. Jumped well, lacked a little bit at the end, but maybe the layoff had something to do with it. I think here second off the break, with a little extra ground for this horse to run with, I think he'll do a lot better. Before that, this horse ran at Galway during the festival in August. Second of August, two miles and a quarter in the grade three, open gate brewery novice chase. The horse finished fifth by eight and three quarter lengths, and as a favorite that day, not an overwhelming favorite, but as a favorite, he, he just never jumped well, never got the good cousin kick at the end. It wasn't the day to win. And then back at Rose Common, the 12th of June, two miles in a novice chase. The horse won by two and three quarter lengths, 67 cents a dollar. Jumped well, even with a heavy weight, a good race. And then before that, a handicap chase back here at Punchestown during the festival in April, two miles. The horse won by eight lengths, 12 to one upsetter. It was an all around great race. I believe I backed this one during the April festival. But, um, you know, he ran very well there. I think coming back here, second off the break with Ruby Walsh reconnecting with the horse, I think he'll run well. So watch out. So to recap my selections for the fourth, the 340 from Punchestown, it's the grade three Buckhouse Novice Chase. Going to go with the two horse Cadium. Going to go 261 in the TriCast of the Trifecta. So now let's get on to race number five, the 410. The 410 from Punchestown, it's the grade three Irish Daily Star Chase. It's a grade three race going for a purse of $48,000. This race is for five-year-olds and upwards field of six horses going three miles and one-eighth over the chase course. My top selection here, I like the two horse Road to Respect. Gonna go two six three in the tricast of the trifecta. Two six three tricast trifecta. Top selection of two horse road to respect. Seven year old gelding here by Golmitz. Uh, Sean Flanagan gets the leg up for Noel Mead. Um, he's three to one here in the states, but I saw him trading at five to two most places in the in the UK and Irish markets. So. Uh, Hopefully the uh, odds will go back, uh, go up in uh, in uh, Europe. But um, you know this horse hasn't started since the April Festival here at Punchestown, 25th of April to be exact. Two, three miles on the 16th in the Gold Cup, the Punchestown Gold Cup. The horse finished third by uh, eight and three quarter lengths. There was the seven to two favorite. He just could not get the good closing kick. Hung a little bit at the end. It wasn't the day to win. I think returning to a lesser quality race. I think this is the right thing for this horse. He won this race very easily by one and a half lengths last year. Could have won by more, but didn't want to kill the horse off the break, but um, you know, b before the Gold Cup at Punchestown, he ran in the Gold Cup at Sheltenham on the 16th of March, three miles and a quarter, and he finished fourth by 13 likes, and again, he just never got the good closing kick, never got around the race course well, it wasn't his day to win off the break, and then on the 28th of December at Leopardstown, three miles in the Christmas chase, the horse won by one and a quarter lengths, first start with blinkers, he, he passed the test there with blinkers, he just won for fun, a very good race, I think coming back here, starting the season again in this, um, in this race like he did last year, I think this race is not nearly as tough, and I think I'll really run a big one. Um, three to one, not the best price in the world, but you'll have to take it. Like I said, he's three to one. Uh, here in America, but he was trading at five to two in the uh, European market. So hopefully, you get a little better odds. Seven to two, nine to two would even would be a miracle. But uh, hopefully, you'll get better odds. But to recap my selections now for the fifth race, four ten from Punchestown. It's the Grade Three Irish Daily Star Chase. Gonna go with the two uh, with the two horse here. Road to Respect. Gonna go two six three in the Tricast of the Trifecta. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck.